What's behind those doors? Secret rooms hidden in famous landmarks. These landmarks are some of the most well-known and most frequently visited places in the world. But even with all that constant attention, there are some crafty corners that have managed to stay concealed. We've got the key to all these hidden gems, and we're ready to unlock some of the world's best kept secrets. Number 1. Crystal Palace Subways In 1851, the City of London came up with an idea. In order to encourage tourists to go visit the Crystal Palace in Crystal Palace Park, they decided to build two rail lines, with one leading right up to the site. Once they arrived, first-class visitors could walk through a subway underground that was decorated with Victorian pillars. But that all changed when the Crystal Palace was destroyed by a fire in 1936, as were the rail lines. Miraculously, part of the underground subway survived. Over the years, the space was used as an air raid shelter and later as a creative place for dance parties. Now the site sits closed and hidden below the famous park. Number 2. A Hidden Cave by Niagara Falls The Cave of the Evil Spirit, hidden away right next to Niagara Falls, has inspired folklore for generations. And the stories are just as creepy as the name makes them sound. According to the legends, Native Americans knew to stay clear of the cursed cave, and rumor had it that some even heard screams and groans coming from deep within it. In 1936, a Canadian settler dared to enter the cave, where he was warned by the evil spirit to turn back around instead of heading west. He chose to ignore the spirit, and in the next few years, he slowly lost just about everything before ultimately losing his life to a gruesome murder. Number 3. Abandoned Apartments in the New York Public Libraries Back when New York City's book hubs first opened, each needed a full-time staffer to tend to them. So naturally, often these caretakers lived there on site with their families. As technology advanced, these full-time tenants were no longer needed and the apartments were left abandoned. Today, there are only 13 left throughout the city. There used to be parties in the apartments on the top floors of New York City's branch libraries. On the other nights, when the libraries were closed, the kids who lived there might sit reading alone among the books or roll around on the wooden library carts. According to Atlas Obscura, this was one of the life of families living in New York City's public libraries. Number 4. The Massive Basement Under the Lincoln Memorial Thousands of tourists every year visit the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C.'s National Mall. But while most of them are gazing up at the marble carving of the former president, they should actually be looking down at the floor. Right under their feet, there is a 43,800-square-foot, three-story basement that very few people know about. The National Mall was built on a notoriously marshy area, and the original architects constructed this column-filled basement to support the monument. The gigantic space was forgotten about until 1975, when renovators made the jaw-dropping discovery. For a short period of time, the area was open to visitors, until asbestos was found in the Undercroft in 1989. Number 5. An Entire Street Under London Little Compton Street might not come up on many road maps, but believe it or not, it's still there if someone just looks hard enough. In order to catch a glimpse, you need to look deep within the sewage grates in London's bustling Soho neighborhood beneath the busy Charing Cross Road. Little Compton Street was once above ground level to where basements of homes and shops are built today, but that changed in 1896. The buildings in this area were demolished and the street level was raised. Now nothing is left of Little Compton Street except the road signs, two of which are still visible. Number 6. A Hidden Chamber Inside Mount Rushmore When most people visit South Dakota's iconic Mount Rushmore, they look straight on at the gigantic carved busts of some of America's former presidents. But hidden behind Lincoln's head sits a little-known vault meant to keep America's most important document safe. Sculptor Gutzon Borglum's original plan had been to create a time capsule inside of Mount Rushmore, which could have been accessed by descending an 800-foot stairwell. Borglum wanted the capsule to house America's most important documents, like the Declaration of Independence. But that dream was never fully realized. Unfortunately, he died before the project was completed. 
The void remains and now houses documents related to Rushmore's construction inside of a titanium vault. Number 7. A Tunnel System Underneath Rome's Colosseum Visitors to the Colosseum might be taken aback by just how gigantic the ancient amphitheater is. But the truth is, only up to 45% of the Colosseum is visible to the public. One of the most intriguing parts, the underground labyrinth of tunnels, has for the most part remained closed off. These tunnels have an interesting yet deadly history. Back when the Colosseum was used for more brutal reasons, the tunnels would be where gladiators awaited their chance to battle. The tunnels also housed huge cages that held animals brought in from around the world for these events, like lions, tigers, bears, panthers, and even elephants. Number 8. A Tennis Court in New York's Grand Central Station One of the most beautiful tennis courts in one of the most beautiful locations in New York City is barely even known about by even the most avid tennis fans. Tucked away on the fourth floor of Grand Central Station is an exclusive tennis court that costs a rumored $250 an hour to rent. Before the space was a tennis court, it was used as an art gallery, a CBS recording studio, and turned into a 65-foot ski slope. Yes, there was once even a ski slope above one of New York City's biggest travel hubs. Now, celebrities and the world's top players take advantage of these regulation-sized courts situated right at the top of Grand Central's famous facade windows. Number 9. A Private Apartment in the Eiffel Tower Having a home with a view of the Eiffel Tower seems like a dream for anyone, except for Gustave Eiffel. Instead, the architect who built Paris's most famous landmark had something else in mind. Instead of a view, why not just live inside the Eiffel Tower itself? So, Eiffel built himself an apartment a thousand feet above ground. As opposed to the hard metal structure, the apartment was decorated with paisley wallpaper and wooden furniture. Obviously, everyone wanted to stay even for a night in the enviable apartment, but Eiffel did not rent out his space and rarely even allowed guests, except, of course, for Thomas Edison. Number 10. A Crypt Beneath St. Mark's Basilica Tourists coming to Venice are almost sure to stop by St. Mark's Basilica. But only very few ever get to see the crypt buried below their feet. The crypt was built in 1063, with stunning columns and high vaulted ceilings, and was the final resting place for some of the men who first established the church, including St. Mark's own remains. Water levels in Venice were immediately a problem in this crypt, and it was considered to be dangerous for years. Parts of the crypt are almost always covered in a layer of water, and the site has been open to the public only on certain occasions.